Hello everyone, Ken Gonzalez here for George Langevin Productions. And we have a girls under 13 match just about set here in blue from Vancouver. The White Caps, and they're facing a team out of Japan, Canon Japan. And we're just moments away from the opening whistle here. Japan will be defending the goal on the left side of the field, left half of the field. And over on the other side, of course, we've got the white caps. And there's the whistle, and we are underway here. We'll get you the rosters for each of these teams in just a minute. And right now, the action here in the middle third of the field. Winds starting to pick up here at Surf Cup 2007, Sunday the 29th of July 2007. This game start time straight up at high noon, 12 o'clock. The final bracket play game for each of these two teams. And the Whitecaps right now, number 12, trying to gain position there, Samantha Holmes McCluskey. And the ball is out over on that far side. We've got two 25-minute halves here today, no overtime. So we should be finished just a little bit before 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The sun directly on top of us here. But we do have a break because of that breeze coming in from the ocean, which is only about two to three miles to the west of us here in Del Mar, California, located just about 25 minutes north of downtown San Diego. Canon Japan's defense does its job in the backfield there as the Whitecaps tried to penetrate. Now number 17 want to move, wants to move to the left. That was Jasmine Mander, and she has the ball taken away. Japan's going to take a shot to the net, deflected into the net. The keeper was inside. Frankie Luno, the keeper. Actually, that's Madison Tyrell. Madison Tyrell, the keeper for the Whitecaps. And it just goes right off her fingertips into the net. And Canon Japan with the 1 0 lead here early on in the match. Number five trying to get to that ball right there, Fiona Beals. But this white defense right here. We had a Japan team or Canon Japan squad yesterday. It was a boys under 12 match. And it was a crossfire out of Oregon who defeated them 4-0. Ball here near side, number 13, Paige Ayers. Paige keeps the ball in play, but she's hounded there by number six for Cannon. And number 17 here, Jasmine Mander puts the ball in the middle. The flag goes up, though. But we have an offsides. And the ball will belong to Cannon. So they bring the ball all the way up here where the infraction took place. Ball right at midfield in the circle now. Number five again, Fiona Beals. Over to number 17, Mander. Mander kicks it downfield. So the ball out here near side. Cannon will put it into play. Number three. As Cannon squad going with the team hairdo here. As they've all got, all except for, let's see, just one out there. Has their hair just a little bit different. We had a team, the last tournament we did, 
and they were from Hawaii and they actually had painted their arms and legs various different colors. So just some of the things you see out here. And the new hairdo here at Surf Cup, at least for boys, but well, we haven't seen it on girls and I hope we don't, is the Mohawk making a comeback. Quite a few of those. Ball in that, in close and that shot is gonna be wide of that far post. And so Cannon going for that second score right there. They hooked that one just a bit. If it was on target though, I think the keeper, Madison Tyrell, would have been there. She had a nice angle on that shot and she watched it roll wide. And now the Whitecaps bring it across midfield there, number six, Gajal Parmar. And out far side, put into play, number 12, Samantha Holmes McCleskey. And substitutions from here on the near side for the Whitecaps. Number five, Fiona Beals will come out. And number 14 now into the match, Aoi Ichiyama. And Ichiyama is looking to get right into the action. It's just a few yards from the ball and it's Cannon Japan now streaking across midfield and just as they try to make their move, bit of an errant ball over there on the far side and it goes out. Now here's an opportunity, Aoi right there. Ichiyama, can't you control the ball? Nice job of recovery to get back to it. Number six for Cannon comes over. Takes it away at a trip right there. Number 10, Katie Bishop. I think you're sure she was responsible for the player hitting the ground, but she was in the general area. So she'll be called for the penalty. Skips into the backfield. Number two, clearing it away there for the Whitecaps, Danielle Yalus. Flag up here again on the left half. Ball to Japan, Cannon. Working below. No, Kaijo, just Kaijo. Hold the line. Right, once you're here, you can't be outside. You've got no space to be with it. Hold the line. And nobody touches that one, and it's going to skip all the way to the keeper. Now you can drop with them. So Madison Tyrell with the stop right there. The wind starting to pick up and some cold air from the coast coming our way. The temperature's dropping just a little bit. But we still have the sun right on top of us. Ball near the corner. Kaijal Parmar. And the ball out far side, number 12 chasing it down. Samantha Holmes McCluskey and she'll put the ball into play. Aoi Ichiyama there and it's gonna go off her foot across the back line. So we will have a goal kick here for Cannon Japan. And Cannon, with the wind of their backs, will get some extra energy on those kicks upfield. Aoi Ichiyama, nice job there in between a couple of defenders. That ball behind the last two. Keeper comes out, it's on the ground, open net, and finally cleared away by number six for Cannon. Huge break right there for Cannon. We gotta get a goal! Get a goal! 
There's a cross for Owie, and she is going to get a leg on it. It goes out. Last touch. They're going to say by the Whitecaps, and the goal kick here for Cannon. Cannon trying to put the ball in the middle. That penalty goes against the white team, and so a nice position here for the free kick for the Whitecaps. Number 16, Carly Radomski putting the ball on the ground, and I think Carly's going to take the kick. Danielle Yalus right behind her. And let's see if Carly goes to the net, or let's see referee still placing people. Here comes the kick, and that's going to be wide of the net, and that'll be a goal kick. So after all the maneuvering, it'll roll out across the back line untouched. And before they put the ball back into play, they want on the far side, Cannon wants substitution, number four coming out. And number six coming out, so two substitutions. Actually, number six just going to another position on the other side, flipping sides of the field. And number 12 into the match. Nice job, number 13 right there. Paige Ayers keeping the ball in Cannon backfield. Ball towards the net, and nice job right there by the keeper. Ball over to the far side. Nearly goes out. Kept in play, Cannon. And it'll roll into the hands of the keeper. And Madison rolls it out here to the near side. Whitecaps. Push it across midfield, but met by Cannon right there. High into the air, ball at midfield. Cannon doing a very good job with their passing game right now. And they have the one nil lead over the Whitecaps. That score coming very early on here in the first half. And now they move it over to the far side. Number 11 looking for an angle there. She's gonna be turned away. She's gotta come right back up outside with it. And it's getting physical over there. Number 10, Katie Bishop for the Whitecaps. Involved in a little extra contact there. So the goal kick for the Whitecaps. Number 16, Carly Radomski. In the middle of the field, number 17, Jasmine Mander looking on. Aoi Ichiyama, midfield. Nice job on the headers, and now here come the Whitecaps, number 13 here, Paige Ayers. She needs to change direction, still going to the back line. There's her cross off the hands of the keeper, cleared away by Cannon. Nice job right there by the Cannon defense. But the Whitecaps are showing they can penetrate that defense, and they're going to make it tough for that Cannon backfield the rest of the way here. Ball rolls over to the far side. Now right in the middle, defense for the Whitecaps, clears it away from the box there. A couple of players on the ground, and now number nine winds up on the bottom for Cannon. And that penalty against the Whitecaps. Hey, 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 
So nice position here for Cannon. And let's see if they can add to their lead. Strong kick to the net over the crossbar. And before we have the goal kick. Number four will come in for the Whitecaps, Alyssa Crichton. And number 13, Paige Ayers will come out for a break. Far side, Cannon again doing a good job with their ball control and their movement. They come in deep, still coming towards the back line. It goes out and they say last touch by Cannon. And so goal kick here for the Whitecaps. Just about 10 minutes remaining here in the first half. and fourth in the middle of the field and it's Cannon winning this one again as they take it left to right. Now in the circle, pass goes downfield in front of the net. Number four with a nice deflection there over to her keeper, Alyssa Crichton and Madison Tyrell, she sends it over to the far side and let's see who's gonna come away with it. It goes out and it's white ball, cannon ball. The ball's getting held up. You must come back to the ball, then we'll go for it, okay? No shot. shot to the goal and on one hop. Into the chest of the keeper. Number nine, right there in the middle. This Cannon team, they've got some speed and really are showing an impressive passing game here today. And now number two, breaking free from the pack, Danielle Lalus. And Yalus will take a shot to the net and she was just a little bit too far out. She had one person, she had Aoi Ichiyama up there. But Aoi never got a chance to get to the ball as it was right to the cannon keeper. Ball in the middle of the circle now. Nice job, Whitecaps right here, keeping it another nice block. Nice use of the body right there for number 17, Jasmine Mander. Cannon with a little give and go here with number eight. And now that ball looks like it's gonna stay in play. No, it will go out and it will be cannon ball near side. And out, they try to go back to her to number seven, but it goes out. So a break here for the Whitecaps. Number two, Yalus. Ball in the middle of the field. Can Cannon come out with it? They do, but nobody up front. And the Whitecaps send it back the other way. Ball out here just beneath us on the near side. Cannon will put it into play. Handball by Cannon, just to the right of midfield. And number 16, Carly Radomski. Radomski fires it in the middle of the field. 
Ichiyama with the touch. Over here to number two, Danielle Yalus. And they're going to get Danielle right there. And so on the penalty, Cannon will have it. Good job on the header right now. Now Ichiyama, she can get out and run right now. Here comes Aoi, number 14. Changes direction, moves inside, passes it to Mander in the middle of the... F actually, that was Parmar in the middle of the field. Ball in the circle. Now moving to the left, the keeper's gonna come out right there and handle that. Number 12 nearly could have been called for a penalty right there, Samantha Holmes McCluskey, but referee let it play. Nice job, Danielle Yalus up to Aoi Ichiyama and the offside call. Ball across midfield. Nice job, number 10 for Cannon. Now here, header number three. Cannon coming in deep. They just can't get a good look at the net. Nice job by the Whitecaps defensively in their backfield. It goes out, still cannonball. And ball out here near side. A white team will put it into play. Just about four minutes remaining here in the half. And into the match now, number 15 for Vancouver, Haley Flower Ainge. And number four will come out. Alyssa Crichton. All at midfield. Cannon gets to it, but Aoi Ichiyama will take it there. Oh, number six was going one way. The ball went the other, but a nice recovery by Ichiyama. Keeper comes out and just gets to the ball. Kajal Parmar, number six. Was there in the middle? And as that ball comes deep to the left half, flag goes up and another offside. You had Ichiyama there and Kajal Parmar. Both teams battling for it here in the middle third. Now finally into the cannon backfield. Ball still in play here and finally out at midfield. I believe it'll be blue. White cap ball here. Right at midfield. And Haley Flower Ainge will put the ball into play. Nice throw in. She finds Danielle Yalus. And that one out again here near side. Go 
right, Cap, play hard now. Pick it up, pick it up, girls. Here we go. Haley again puts it into play. And again, Danielle wants to use the near side. Nice cross into the middle. Shot to the goal high in the air. The keeper can't handle it. Defense recovers. Whitecap still in deep though and finally cleared up to midfield by Cannon. Nice job by Cannon deep there in front of their net. But the Whitecaps aren't done yet. Again, they bring it to the left half. Number 12 with the block, Samantha Holmes McCleskey. And the ball across midfield. The header is going to be safe from going out. Nice job here on the near side. So actually we had a penalty, so a free kick here on the near side, not a throw in. Into the backfield, there's a whistle by the ref. That's the end of the first half. So Cannon with the early score, they lead one nil as we had to halftime. Kings Austin, George Langevin Productions. We'll be back with the second half here from the 2007 Surf Cup in just a few minutes. And we're back for the start of the second half of this girls under 13 match here at the 2007 Surf Cup. And starting things off here, second half, Cannon Japan in the circle. And they've already passed the ball four or five times. They like that short passing game and that's how they're trying to meander their way through this White Cats defense. Ball rolls into the near side. Cannon, number 13, nearly has it taken away by number eight, Natasha Magnus. So Natasha here. Now we get to see her on the near side, second half. And Paige Ayers, number 13. Cross into the middle. Let's see if the Whitecaps can do something here. Shot to the goal. Number six, Kajal Parmar. Put the keeper there for Cannon. Samantha Holmes McCluskey in the middle looking for some help. A lot of white jerseys around her though and they're gonna take it away. Nikki Glavina with the touch there in the middle. And we still have to get to the roster for this Vancouver squad. Had a lot of action in that first half. And ball still in play here near side. Rolls and rolls. Cannon here. Number two will stop. She wants to change direction. Ball across midfield. A 
Go to the right half. And now in the middle, they try to go to the far side. And now number six, Gajal Parmar, going to the net with the left leg. Her shot on goal is going to be just wide. She had the keeper coming out. She had an angle. And the shot just wide across the back line. And the score remains 1-0 in favor of Cannon Japan. Thirteen trying to get around those jerseys. Paige Ayers, and now it's Cannon moving downfield here. Ball out here on the near side. Number twelve with the ball in play, saved here by Cannon on the near side as they shoot the ball downfield. Whitecaps defense though spread nicely, and they take it away. That's going to be off wide here near side, and Paige Ayers will put it into play. So we'll, let's quickly get through the roster for Vancouver. Number 13, Paige Ayers. Number 5, Fiona Beals. Number 10, Katie Bishop. Number 4 is Alyssa Crichton. Number 15, Haley Flower Ainge. Now that ball in the middle of the field. Can they get a look? Parma rolling over the far side, and the keeper for Cannon will haul it in. Number 7 for Vancouver is Nikki Glavina. Number 12, Samantha Holmes McCluskey. Number 14 is Aoi Ichiyama. Number one, the keeper, or substitute keeper, I should say, is Frankie Luno. Number eight, Natasha Magnus. Number 17, Jasmine Mander. Number six, Kajal Parmar. Number 16, Carly Radomski. The keeper, Madison Tyrell, number 20. Ball out here near side and will belong to Cannon. Number nine is Pamela Via Vicencio. And number two is Danielle Yalus. Again, the keeper for Cannon gets there. Front shot on goal, it's gonna roll just wide. Parmar again there. Just wide of the net, nearly tying this one up. So the goal kick here for Cannon. Ball here to the near side. Number 16 here, near side, coming in towards the back line, Carly Radomski. She changed, stops, wants to change direction, but the ball taken away from behind. She had her pocket picked right there. Her teammates, though, and Radomski gets right back to the ball. He's going to say her teammates are covered for it. Actually, there she was, right in the middle of the action, and that shot on goal into the hands of the keeper. The keeper for Cannon has done a good job here today, obviously. She's got the shutout. She's made several saves there. It hasn't been that her defense hasn't allowed any shots on goal. They've had plenty, but they've allowed plenty. It's just that the keeper has done a pretty good job. She's been perfect so far. That ball's gonna roll to the far side. Number seven for Cannon, number six for the Whitecaps, Gajal Parmar. Aoi Ichiyama coming from behind out of nowhere there, battling for the ball. That ball drilled out far side. And let's see, was that across the back line or on the side? It was very close. You see the red flag there in the corner. And Paige Ayers, number 13, will set it up for the corner. So the corner kick here for the Whitecaps. Jesse Simons, a coach for the Whitecaps. Got that in there. Now we've got the roster all done for the team out of Vancouver. Pushed away, shot to the net over the crossbar. Whitecaps just inches away from tying this one. But they are really testing that backfield, the defense of Cannon here as of late. And let's see if they can continue that. And finally get one to fall. Again, they move left to right. They come in deep. 
on the ground. Parmar shot to the net is scooped up by the keeper again. Cannon with the one nil lead here in the second half. Number nine inside the circle. Trying to maneuver her way out of it. Oh, she came about three inches from clearing it across midfield, but a nice play there by number 13 Ayers. And that ball out across the back line. Did the keeper touch it? She backed off at the last second. I don't believe she did. So it'll be a goal kick here for Cannon. Just about 15 minutes. A little bit more here remaining in the second half. And that ball will go to Cannon. Cannon now heading to the backfield of the Whitecaps, number 10. Danielle Yalus with some nice defense there. Ichiyama comes over to help out. It goes out, still belongs to Cannon. Kick from the far side. They try to put it into the middle and the white cap, so it'll clear it out. Now it's gonna roll and roll. And I don't think anybody's gonna get there for quite a while. Paige Ayers trying. And number five for Cannon will just knock it out here near side and allow everyone to get back into position. Whitecaps quickly put the ball into play. Number 12, Samantha Holmes McCluskey. If the timing would have been perfect on that right there, she would have had a nice angle towards the net off that throw in. 10 minutes in. <laughs> Handball there, and I'm not sure that the referee saw that until he saw her reaction, Paige's reaction there, Paige Ayers. She might have been able to get away with it if she was a little more sly there. Ball out near side. Number 11 for Cannon will put the ball into play. Ayers trying to force the issue there. The ball out off Cannon. So this Japanese team with a 1-0 lead here in the second half. And the ball out. And a corner kick coming up for Vancouver. Number 13, Paige Ayers. And actually, it'll be number two, Danielle Yalus, who will take the corner kick. Kick placed nicely in front of the net. They can't connect on the header there. Cleared up by Japan, and now Cannon across midfield. The Whitecaps get back. Nice job there by. Number seven, Nikki Glavina. Number eight puts the ball into play here near side, Natasha Magnus. And the ball out here near side, put into play by Whitecaps. Ball roll into the middle of the field. And number two, Danielle Yalus will take that shot to the goal. And wide of the net, the keeper will pick it up there. And she was a little too far out there on that one. 
Whitecaps need to pass it a little bit more when they get in deep right there and try to get themselves a good look. Cannon in the circle. That ball fired into the backfield. The keeper coming out and she clears it away. Number two there, or number nine for Cannon Japan. It was about half a step late getting over. Ball out far side, white ball. Nice move right there, number 10 for Cannon. But she was thwarted right there. Ball kept in a play by the Whitecaps. In the circle. Ayers will send it downfield. The keeper's gonna have to come out. Very dangerous move because if that kick would have been deflected, the net was open. Cannon still nursing this 1-0 lead here, second half. Whitecaps, too many blue jerseys in the backfield there for Cannon to do anything with the ball. Cannon getting a piece of that every time. And out here near side. Ball rolls here to the near side. Whitecaps, Paige Ayers with a nice little flick over there in the middle to number 12, Samantha Holmes McCluskey. And that shot to the goal. The hope there was that it would bounce over the head of the keeper, but it does not. And she hauls it in and she'll have the kick. Ball out far side belongs to the Japanese team. Number three right down the middle. Whitecaps defense has got to get back and they do. Now they've got four numbers in the back there. The cross cleared away. Nice job by the defense, but Cannon still on the attack and that penalty on number 16, Carly Radomski. And so Cannon will have a nice position right here for their free kick. Just about eight minutes remaining here in the match. Number 10, she's got some skills. Shoots it towards the net and on a bounce into the hands of the keeper. Tyrell will kick it upfield. Very disciplined team here, this Cannon squad. Now they want to go upfield, number, or downfield, number 13 here near side, stops. Oh, and she wants to change direction, but she hesitated that split second, and that allowed number eight, Natasha Magnus, to come over and deflect it away. Jazz, get high. All the way up. No Jazz is coming. Stay on the last All the way up with Nigel. Come on, white line. Nigel, Nigel, let's get her. Nigel, white line. Start from there. Near side here. Throw comes in, Magnus, couple of headers, trying to put the ball in a position. And out, and it's white ball. Oh. 
Cannon here at midfield. Ball is saved from going out here by Ayers near side. And they can say no. Kick it out. Thank you. White cap ball here at midfield. Number nine into the match now for Vancouver, Pamela Via Vicencio. And she will spell number seven, Nikki Glavina. So Via Vicencio into the match, number nine. All across midfield. Number 10 again, Cannon Japan trying to make something happen. Ball is out, still white ball. Ball here at midfield. Let's see who comes away with it, number 17. Jasmine Mander, and she's gonna run out of room here on the near side, it goes off her white ball. And ball out near side. So the penalty against the Vancouver Whitecaps. Cannon with the free kick. And time running down here for the blue squad. They trail by one goal. They've had plenty of good looks and I'm sure they can get some more here before the end. But they've got just about five minutes to do so. And that is just about five minutes on the dot here remaining. There's number 10. She makes this offense move here. Cleared away the other way now. Number six, Gajal Parmar, keeper comes out. The net's gonna be open. She got a couple of defenders back and they're able to make the play. Huge break right there for Cannon. The keeper came out, Parmar was able to get the shot on the open goal, but by the time the ball was kicked, the goal wasn't open anymore as the defense for Cannon was able to recover and help out the keeper who was eliminated from the play. Palmar again, far side. Ichiyama far side keeps the ball in play. Cannon's not going to have much luck sending the ball upfield in the air like that with the wind right in their face. But they do catch the break right there, penalty against the Whitecaps. And the Whitecaps really need to move the ball out of their backfield and across midfield. Shot to the net is going to be wide of the net. Whitecaps ball, that was an offsides call. Radomski, Carly Radomski, number 16. Ball fired across midfield. Now it's going to roll into the backfield. It's a foot race. Can the defense get back? And number seven blocks out Samantha Holmes McCluskey just enough to allow the keeper to come out and take the ball. Number 11, cross for number 10, shot to the net, and that ball's gonna find the back of the net. Number 21, the keeper, Madison Terrell, 
had come out. And that was all that Japan needed right there as that shot on goal perfectly placed right in the middle of the net. And it's a 2-0 lead here for the Canon Japan squad. Not much time remaining in the match and that score right there will probably seal the deal right now. As the Whitecaps will need two scores. Keeper hauls it in. We've only got about a minute, maybe two, remaining here in the match. Number six, Kajal Parmar, far side. A really nicely played game, and you know, watching these two squads here, you know, you kind of get an indication from North American soccer and, and what these girls from Japan are used to. And I think one of the things that I come away with is they're not used to a physical game. They've got a lot of speed, and that's what they try to use. But they've pretty much been thrown around the field here today. And actually, we saw the boys team for Cannon yesterday, and it was the same thing. They, they were not the aggressor physically. The boys team really lost yesterday 4-0. The girls here on top of the Whitecaps 2-0, but this girls squad much more talented than the team we did see yesterday. This is a very good team. They can pass the ball very well. And of course, number 10 there up front, she has a lot of ability. The Whitecaps here trying to get on the board late and at least get a score, pick up a point. I'm not exactly sure where they stand as far as bracket play goes, so they may need this point. Corner kick here. And number two, streaking to the corner, Danielle Yalus. She'll put it on the ground and with the left leg, get this one going. Here it comes, a header by number 12 towards the back line. I think that went out before it was touched. It did, and we'll have another corner kick here for the blue team. And that's gonna be long, and it was touched by Cannon, and so the corner from the opposite side, and Paige Ayers will take the kick from that side. They've gotta hurry, not much time remaining. Kick, in on the ground. Aoi Ichiyama there, number 14, the ball's gonna skip away. Ayers tries a shot, it's gonna be deflected, number 14 for Cannon. And out far side. Throw comes in. Samantha Holmes McCluskey was first to touch it, but now it goes here up to midfield. Nice job there by the Whitecaps. Number 10, I believe, Katie Bishop there, keeping the ball here on the right half of the field. And that was Katie. There's the whistle at midfield and the end of this match. So this girls under 13 match here at the 2007 Surf Cup is over. And it's Canon Japan with a 2-0 victory over the Vancouver Whitecaps here. It's a nice entertaining game, actually. It's very nice. I'm sure the Whitecaps are a little disappointed that they didn't come away with the victory, but they played very well, and they went up against a very good team here. Well, that'll do it for us. Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. We hope you enjoyed this match. It sure was exciting and a pleasure for me to bring it to you. Until we see you again, be safe and have a great day, everyone.
All right, Ken Gonzalez here for Georgia Land Event Productions. We just saw this match here between the White Caps and Canon Japan, and so. Why don't you girls go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Paige Ayers, I'm number 13, and I play for, right forward. Okay. I'm Samantha Holmes McCluskey, and I'm number 12, and I'm center midfield. Okay. I'm Carly Wodomsky, number 16, uh, defense center and center mid. I'm Frankie Leonard, I'm number one, and I play goalkeeper. Okay. All right, so you guys just finished up 2007 Surf Cup. Have you ever been here before? No. No. Your very first time? Yep. So what do you think of it? It was pretty cool and fun and difficult. <laughs> yeah. Would you want to come back? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Now, have you ever been to this part of the country before? No. Really? So what do you think of it? It's nice. It's nice. Hot. Did you guys do any cool things while you were here? Uh, yeah. Beach. We went to the beach and we jumped in the waves. The, yeah, the white caps jumping into the white caps. The white caps jumping into the white caps. Was it cold? Uh, it was refreshing. Refreshing. Now, it's probably warmer here than it is back home. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a little. You guys get snow up there, right? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Do you get a lot of rain? Yeah. A lot of rain. You guys aren't too far from Washington, right? No. No. Right no. There. no. Right. You ever go there to hang out? Yep. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Is it easy to just go across? Or yeah. Yeah. Shopping. Not shopping? Yeah. Where's where, where's the shopping better? In Vancouver or in Washington? Washington. Really? Yeah. Well, like certain places in Vancouver are good, but then certain places in in Washington are better. Better. So. What's the best store? In Washington. Uh, <laughs> that's hard to say. There's a lot of them? Yeah. Yeah, really? What's your favorite brand of clothes right now? Hollister. H Hollister. Hollister. <laughs> yep, everyone wears Hollister. How about you? Yeah, Hollister. Hollister. I like Stussy. Stussy. You know, I actually met Mr. Stussy. <laughs> it was a guy, and it was his last name, and he is a surfer here in Southern California. And, yep, and he had a cool name and decided to make T-shirts at, at first. Now they have a whole line of everything. Oh, cool. Isn't that very interesting? Yeah. So you came all the way out here, and you learned something. Yeah. Yes, that's amazing. Exactly. Speaking of learning, what grade are you, all you girls in? I'm grade 7. And going into grade 8. Oh, right, grade 8. I'm grade 8. Grade 8. I'm just grade 7. Grade 7. Grade 7. Going into 7 or going into 8? Going 7. Going into 7. Do you guys do year-round school? there or do you get the summers off? Summers. Summers? summers? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Like that's the way it used to be but now all the schools here they're all year round it seems. Ew. Oh, really? Yeah you go for like four months you get like three oh, weeks God. off. Ew. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> that's not fun is it? No. <laughs> not at all. I feel bad. Do you? Yeah I feel bad for <laughs> <laughs> they probably feel bad for themselves too, of course. So when you're not playing soccer back home, what are some of the things you like to do? Obviously you guys like to shop, but yeah. other than that. Play other sports, hockey. Yeah. Hockey? Yeah, lacrosse. Ice hockey? Yeah. Really? Lacrosse. Lacrosse, that's uh, becoming more popular. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, I play football sometimes. <laughs> and golf. I, I golf. You like to golf? <laughs> well, with my uncle. He makes me. Is he good? Yeah, he brags a lot. He brags? <laughs> yeah. Why? He's so good. Because he hits the ball. Does he drive it far? Yeah. yeah. But I bet his putting game isn't any good. No. Yeah. Uh, See, that's I usually what happens. Australian football. Australian rules football? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they just like put together Did you kick the, the ball through the post? Oh, yes. Really? Yeah. Did the guy come out and do his thing? Yeah, yeah. He had his white suit. <laughs> In his white suit? Did he have a white hat? Yeah, he, I, I remember that, yeah. Really? Yeah. What do you do? I forget. Um, ice hockey. Ice hockey. That's right. What position do you play? I don't play it, but I play like just kind of <laughs> just for fun. I'm not on a team. Why do you just pick up a game of ice hockey? Because I, I play. I make ice rinks in my really at my school in the winter. In the you winter. guys can do that. Yeah. In the winter, uh, the and then water freezes. Do you out. skate? So you just use like um sometimes, or we just skate on your shoes. It's <laughs> a good way to break an arm. No. No. Never seen that before. Lacrosse. The rules in lacrosse are way different for the boys in there. For the girls. I play boys. Do you? Because like the girls, they can't even touch each other, right? It's like a penalty. Yeah. Yeah, but the boys can yeah. get get pretty mean. Is it tough to catch that ball? Not really. Does it hurt to get hit with it? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. I bet it does. All right. So now is your chance. Who do you get? Or who do you want to say hi to back home? Um. My family? <laughs> family? You have any pets or yeah. friends? Dog. He's dog. evil though. <laughs> Why? He's psycho. Was he bark too much? Yeah. And he's a chihuahua mixed with oh, a wiener no. dog. A chihuahua and a wiener dog. That's got to look weird. Yeah. Yeah. And he's probably nervous all the time. 
Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. He cries a lot. What's his name? Ziggy. <laughs> Ziggy, he cries a lot? Yeah. Just like he does that up. weird whining sound. How does it go? I don't, I don't know how to Did do you it. you give it to us? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Get Paige to. <laughs> do it. How about you? Who do you want to say hi to, Bob? Um, My family, my dog Jake, and the Drainies. Who? The Drainies, their family. Friends? Yeah. Family, friends, okay. Jake, does Jake have a hate, like a, like a handkerchief thing around his neck or anything? Nope. What do they call those? <laughs> a handkerchief. Yeah. It sounds like a dog. Jake, you know, got to have a little handkerchief. My sister, my mom, and my dad, and my cat. Your cat? What's your cat's name? Foxy. Cats. Cats? Cats. How many? Two. Roxy and Foxy. Roxy and Foxy. Both girls? I didn't name them. Yeah. Who yeah. named them? My sister. Yeah? Would you pick different names? Yes. Like what? I don't know. Charlie. <laughs> Ch no. What's your sister's name? Haley. I was going to say, does it rhyme with Foxy Rock? No. And there it is. Foxy. All Y names. There you go. All right. And you? Well, I want to thank my mom, my dad, well, say hi to, my mom, my dad, my sister, Abby, uh, my dog, my chihuahua, Tia, my toy palm, Louie, my cat, Willow, and that's good. Do the chihuahua and the toy palm get along? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, they actually chase the cat. They chase the cat? Well, the cat probably does not like that at all. No. He swats at them. The cat probably is tougher than those dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. He's big. All right, girls. Well, thanks for coming all the way out here to San Diego. Appreciate that. Welcome. Hopefully you'll come back. Give a nice wave to the camera, and you are done. All right, we're back. We have four more. I was going to say three. We have four more white caps here that we're going to interview and get to know. They just had that game against Canon Japan. So why don't you start us off and let us know who you are. Um, I'm Aoi Chiyama, and I play, I'm number 14, and I play left wing or left mid. Okay. I'm Danielle Yaluz, and I'm number two, and I play left back. I'm Pamela Villavicencio, I'm number nine, and I play forward and midfield. Okay. Hi, I'm Natasha Magnus, and I'm number eight, and I play right defense. Okay, so coming over here, was this a pretty tough game against this squad right here? Yeah, they yeah. were a little fast. Well, they were really fast. Yeah, and they, were, they passed the ball really well, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, they were good. They did, and the other... Uh, thing that I notice about them is it doesn't look like they get real physical like you could really push them around um, Yeah, but they fell easily because we were so much bigger, <laughs> but um, <laughs> Yeah, they were tough. they were, they were pretty tough though. They're strong. They, they knew how to pass. That's yeah. Clear. Yeah number 10 She was pretty good. Right? Yeah, they're all really good dribblers and passers and yeah. they can use the ball really well Yeah, and I think when you don't have the size you have if you can't do that then you're sunk. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. How about the player you were going up against today? How would you rate her? She was very fast and she kept turning and going an opposite way. It was pretty hard to get her, you know. <laughs> Keep her tied down somewhere. Yeah. But altogether, the team was very determined to win, yeah. I think. And yeah. They wanted to come out of here, I think, with with some good news. I think they were 0-2 before that, but they were, I think, they were close in their games. Um, so, is this your first time out here? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of this tournament? Yeah, the grass and the fields are really nice, and there's strong teams that we haven't played. Yeah, and that's good because you learn from that, right? Yeah. The yeah, I liked it a lot. It was fun. And it was great having so much soccer around you. You know, not where we live. There's just like two fields or something. Really? See, there's not too much soccer at all. No, yeah. <laughs> but it's good. Do you get to go to too many? You know, well, with that, too many tournaments or. Do you get to go to tournaments a lot? Um, not really with this team, but with their club team. But they're like around where we live, not as far as like here. <laughs> yeah. So normally you girls don't play on the same team. You just kind of came out here for the tournament. Well, we've been playing as a team for the whole summer and before a bit. But yeah, we also have our club teams that we're playing with okay. too. And what's the name of the club team that you're on? I'm on the Richmond Gold A. Richmond so. Gold A. Okay. Yeah. Do you play any of these girls in the season? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I've played Danielle. Yeah. So. Okay. Did you guys beat up on her? Uh. I think you beat her. Yeah. <laughs> you won. What club team do you play on back home? Tamiyama Sanders. Are they pretty good? Yeah, we got provincials. Yeah. Oh, well, that is. That's pretty good. What's it? What's the name of your squad? Um, I play in the North Shore Power. Power? Yeah. 
pretty good team? We're okay. <laughs> Depends who you play. Yeah. yeah. All right, how about you? Uh, North Shore Extreme. Okay, North Shore Extreme. That sounds like a fast team. Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of, sometime, yeah. can be. What's the best part of uh, the summer so far, hanging out with this team? Um, you get to compete, like, teams that are much stronger, sometimes stronger than you, and not in our club teams, we just play randomly if they're weaker or if they're stronger, so right. I like it. Not too many weak teams out here. Yeah, I, I like the competition level, and I also like hanging out with all the girls. It's really fun being in a hotel room and, like, right. swimming, and the weather's great, so, yeah. Did you girls get a chance to go to the beach yet? Yeah, we, actually, we went the first day on Thursday, and it was loads of fun because we were, like, jumping on the waves, and <laughs> it was yeah. crazy, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, the water, was it cold or warm? Um, no, the water warm. was really um, nice compared to Vancouver, so yeah. we had a lot of fun in the waves. Is this the first time that you've been over here? Yeah, it's the first time I've been to San Diego. Yeah. How about all the rest of you? First time? Yeah, yeah first time. Yeah. yeah. First time. yeah. Okay. And you want to come back? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So you guys are pushed to come to Surf Cup next year? Um, I don't think uh, we do it yeah, next year. We have yeah. Yeah. So I don't think there's this team's going to be next year. Yet. Oh, really? So like, do the provincials? Do they? Does it time? Is it at a different time every year? Or? Well, we we're too young this year to go to provincials oh, and nice. some of our team members could have gone to provincials but they didn't make it and they came to our team so okay. yeah. yeah all right so this might be your last opportunity for a while because of the way your schedule is to come out here mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah this is our last game as a team so really yeah uh, well it's a good thing you got a nice copy of it that's for sure <laughs> um all right so before we let you guys go now's your chance to say hello or anything you want to say to anybody back home <laughs> Don't forget your pets or friends. Everyone, hello. <laughs> Everyone? That's just a blanket. Yeah. Okay. I want to say hi to my mom and my sister and my dog, I guess, and all my friends. Your dog's not a chihuahua. Is it? No. <laughs> Seems like a lot of your teammates have chihuahuas. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What, what's your dog's name? Sammy. Sammy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, everyone. Everyone? <laughs> yeah. Everyone in like all of Canada or? Uh, everyone that I know. <laughs> okay. Is that a lot of people? Uh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a yeah. Does that include like your teachers at school? Uh, not really. <laughs> not really? They give you too much homework? Yeah. <laughs> really? I was telling, you guys should just ask them not to give you homework. I mean, they just give they us say? more. They'll just give you more. Oh, you don't want to do that. Okay. How about you? Who do you want to say hi to? I want to say hi to my family and friends and my dog and cat. Dog and cat. Do they get along? Yeah, they get along pretty well. They kind of stay out of each other's way. <laughs> Probably. And I also want to say hello to everyone in Vancouver. And so we tried hard to represent you. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I think you girls did a good job. You certainly weren't in yeah, you got some skills out there, I think. It was a good game for me to call, and we do games every day out here, and so there's been a lot of blowouts and a lot of bad, bad games, but this was a good game. It was fun. It was exciting to do. So congratulations, you know, on coming out here. You guys playing well, even though you haven't played too long together. And uh, before we let you go, just give a nice wave to the camera and a little shout-out, and you guys are done. Thank you. Thank you. We got four more players here for the Whitecaps after their match against the Canon Japan squad. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, give us your name, number, and obviously your position as keeper. Uh, Madison Tyrrell, um, position uh, keeper, number 21. I'm Katie Bishop. My position is center midfield or center D, and I was number 10. I'm Nikki Lovina, uh, center defense, number 7. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alyssa Creighton, number 4, and I usually play either right or lefty. Okay. All right. So now I heard this is your final game as a team together. Is that true? What gave it away? The last group of girls. Hmm. Yes, it is. Was it a secret? <laughs> it was. It was, but now everyone knows. Everyone in Vancouver is going to know that this was it. Yep. So was it a good run, though? Yeah, I know we've definitely had better games as a team. Like it definitely wasn't our best, but I mean, it, what happens happens, and we're definitely gotten a, like a stronger group of girls here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. So, was it a fun time for you coming out here to San Diego for this yeah. tournament? Yeah, it yeah. was really is, fun. Is it what you expected or better? Um, 
I don't know. I mean, like, did you just expect, hey, it's going to be cool to come down to San Diego and the soccer is going to be soccer? Were you impressed with the soccer that's out here? Yeah, there's a lot of really good teams. We did well to get this far. Yeah, definitely. You, uh, you won a game yesterday, right? Yeah. And tied? Yeah. And tied, yeah. Yeah. Was the uh, tie, like, close back and forth? Was it something that tied at the last second or had that? Tied at the last second, well, right? We made a really good comeback, so. Oh, so you guys came back to tie? Yeah. Really? What was the score? 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. <laughs> so the score was, the, the goal was late. Like, really. Um, yeah, probably Who not. scored it? Mid um, Sam, Sam McCluskey. Sam, Sam McCluskey, yeah. Yeah, she scored it? Yeah. And so you guys were down like one nothing first half and all that? Yeah, we didn't, we, we didn't know if we were going to lose or whatever, and but we were really determined. Yeah. So we just put one in the net. Awesome. I'm sure the sidelines were very happy. Did they erupt in joyous applause? Yes. <laughs> yes, so do we. You did. I'm sure you guys did out there in the field. All right, so this was your last game. Uh, do you have anything fun planned for the rest of your stay here? Or are you guys going back soon? Go to the beach, probably hang out a bit in the hotel, talk, yeah. Talk, yeah. shop a bit. Do a little shopping. Have you done enough shopping since you've been here? No. no they no. haven't let us yeah. have any free time. No, but now you do. We have free time. Vacation. <laughs> vacation our hotel. So what? Uh, so you're gonna go shopping? What, sleeping. Uh, what's your favorite brand of clothes right now? Sleeping. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. White Caps gear. Umbro. Just the Nike gear. Oh, White Caps gear. Umbro. 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 Oh yeah, it's Umbro. All right. Umbro. How about you? What do you want to do while you, if you have any free time here? Well, I'm going to Disneyland. Disneyland. That'll be fun. Have you ever been there? When I was little. When you're little, so you don't remember it? No. And I was too scared to go on the good rides. <laughs> I only they, went on the teapot. They had that new submarine ride. That was an awesome ride. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. Wow. That sounds like fun. You're going to have to go on that one. It just opened like two weeks ago. Cool. So that should be the first one you go. Yes. Unless you don't like submarines. I, I love submarines. Yeah? You've been on quite a few? No. 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 <laughs> All right. How about you? What do you want to do? Um, what are you going to do? Well, um, tomorrow, me and my family are going to... You know, go shopping and go to the beaches yeah. and um, go to Disneyland. Yeah, Universal Studios, do all the fun stuff. Really, Universal? That's pretty fun. Yeah. It's gonna be crowded over there. Too. Yeah. Which is good. You know, you just want people everywhere. What is one thing you want to buy when you're shopping? Um, I don't know. I just want to buy lots of clothes. You know, buy like one of those dumb shirts that says like "Property of San Diego" or something. Probably not. No. Probably wouldn't wear that. No. Yeah. No. Not at all. <laughs> okay. So. Other than soccer, do you play any other sports? Um, any hobbies? Uh, no. No, just soccer? <laughs> um, I play in the backyard, some backyard sports with my brother. Biking? Biking. biking. Yes, Life biking. Now, in the winter, do you play indoor soccer? Uh, in the winter, I think we still go through winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have it's like all a, year. We have like a year. Christmas break, but we usually play unless we get snow out. Really? So you can play outside? <laughs> Really? It's cold though, right? Uh, it's not that much colder than here. Really? It's like with the breeze, if you face me, it's the breeze. In the winter? Oh, no, no, in the winter it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, that's, I'm going to move to Vancouver. This is the winter. No. no. In the winter, it snows sometimes, but not all the time. Uh, it's yeah. It's well, we usually want it to snow because, well, it usually mm -hmm. snows before and then after Christmas, and then during Christmas it's like Nothing. muddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just muddy, the remnants. Muddy, right? have, were you yeah. born there? Are you from Vancouver? Originally? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Been there your whole life? Yes. You like it there? Yes. Now, if I was going to go visit Vancouver, where would I, like, what, what do I have to go see? What's the place go to go? Go see. Vancouver. All the statues of the Oh, you have to go to Science World. Science World? Yes. Oh, yeah. Sounds cool. And, and, um, and Stanley Park. Stanley Park. Space yeah. Center. Yeah. yeah. Space Center. What's Stanley Park? Oh, yeah. Never mind. A Stanley, Stanley, Stanley Park. Park. It's like Park. a park. It's with like animals. Cool. <laughs> no it's, it's really, really big, and they have this thing called Tuts, the Under and the Stars. It shows, like, plays, like, priests and Oklahoma, I think. Really? And it's just lots of trails to go around. And that sounds cool. Beaches and stuff. I think there's a beach there. Yep. Is there a beach? There's, there's a beach? beach there. Yeah. Yep. There's there beach. Good beaches in Vancouver. Yeah, there is. Lots of good ones. <laughs> yeah, like, what's the best uh, one? I don't know what the There's best one is. Yeah, what is it? What are you it's talking about? Like I don't know. The best beach. The best beach? Yeah. Crescent Beach. 
I don't know. They're all good. They're all good. They're all you good. like the beach? You don't have, yeah, we don't I love have, the beach. Uh, so big waves down there, though. So oh, the water just kind of rolls. Yeah, oh, we, just we don't have like huge waves. We sometimes we get like the little white caps, but not like huge ones. Did you go in the waves here? Like, yeah, it it's fun? fun to jump in. Yeah. Did you do like boogie boarding or anything like that? No, we, we went. We no, went we to uh, oh. Oceanside Beach. Newport. That, that, Newport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Newport Beach. Newport Beach. Oh, so way up there. Okay, in Orange County. Oh yeah. And that's kind of the fufu area. We were swimming in our like training jerseys and stuff. Really, you're wearing the uh, white cap to gear? Not all of us. In the one I was. Oh. <laughs> I was wearing Jeez, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There's no bathrooms, though. No bathrooms at the beach? Yeah. We had to no, go. We, had, no one we went to like three gas stations and nothing. Oh, and, and, then nothing. Was, and then finally like, we found a, a sign that said no really bathroom, gross. but it had a bathroom. It actually said no bathroom? Yeah. yeah. But they did have one? And yeah. got the key. It was on the bathroom door, too. <laughs> maybe it was. Maybe they meant broken. No. No, because no, we went up to the cashier and she's like, oh, fine, I'll give you the key. And she gave it to us. So. <laughs> like it's a big secret. Exactly. Okay, okay. All right. Who do you want to give big shout outs to hellos back home in Vancouver before you let you guys out of here? Hi. <laughs> Dogs, cats, brothers, sisters, um, aunts, uncles. <laughs> family, family, yes, family. My family is yeah. here, but I probably have more family at home. I probably. Somewhere. <laughs> yes, probably. distant Somewhere. aunts, uncles, <laughs> um, friends. Grandma, pet. Yes, grandparents. school friends. No pets at home that need taking yes, care of. Yes, my right? dog. My Who's dog. feeding your dog? Um, and be, we're, my house is under renovation, so he's hanging out with the guys who are doing the really? renovation. Really? So they're just going to feed him and all that? Yes. Well, what? no, no. We have a babysitter or like a house. A sitter. doggy sitter? I have a cat too, actually. <laughs> and a cat, a cat doesn't need any taken care of, though. Yeah. All, it, 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 like, it, important things too. She makes me watch her eat. Really? She won't yes. eat unless you're watching? Her? Yes. I know. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Like, what if she caught a mouse? So you'd have to She's watch crazy. her She's crazy. Oh, yeah. She's like probably like the only way she'll kill a mouse is by sitting on it. <laughs> is she a big cat? <laughs> kind of. She's really fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> she won't eat unless she's. That's really strange. All right. Is that everyone? Um, the guys doing the renovation. You want to say hi to them too? You yes. Want to say hi, to them? hi. Tell them to do a good job. When you're yes. Ready. And I come back, it better be done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who do you want to say hi to? Um, I don't know. Family. My family's here though. <laughs> They're all here. <laughs> um, yeah. That's it. That's it? Yeah, friends. Friends? Teachers. Friends. Teachers? No, not teachers. No, teachers. no, no it's okay. Teachers. It's okay. <laughs> Don't want to say hello to them? Okay. I want to say hello to my really big cat <laughs> who eats like five <laughs> meals every meal <laughs> and <laughs> to my friends. Why do you feed your cat so much? Because my mom wakes up at early, so then he feeds she <laughs> and then oh, really? and when we wake up we feed him because we don't know he's been fed and he's really and he still eats so like he doesn't just walk away yeah no he and also the other cat comes in our neighbor's cat and eats the food <laughs> just hangs out and just eats your cat's food yes you guys go through a lot of cat food sure. yeah yeah <laughs> the big bill all right anybody else you want to say hi to um me my grandma your grandma okay <laughs> that's good all right um well, my family's here, but like to my aunts and uncles and grandma and all them, okay. and to my friends and to my really fat cat. Why do you have has got fat cat? Oh. What's going on? I don't know. His name's Thank Gus, you. but you know we call him Fatty because he's really. Give him some exercise. Well, we do. We put him outside every day, but he just sits at the sits at the front door. Just you, you should know? put him on one of those big plastic balls, like they put hamsters in, and you just let him. Run. We should. <laughs> He can't I don't get think out. he'd do it. He'd probably just sit there. He would just sit in it. He'd just and lay, lie down. there. Yeah. Go to sleep. He's really lazy. <laughs> he eats a lot too. And also my dog, because I love him. Is your dog fat too? No. No? No. He's beautiful. What's his name? <laughs> Leo. Leo? What kind of dog? He's a lab border collie cross. Really? Yeah. That's a big dog. Somewhat big. Yeah, yeah medium, medium size. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming out here to San Diego. It was nice to get to know of you. Tough loss right here. Hopefully, we should have done yesterday's game, actually. But it was still a good game. It was exciting. I was glad to do it. Have a nice trip back home and have some fun before you do. Give a nice wave to the camera, and you girls are done. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, so that'll do it for the Whitecaps here, their run at the 2007 Surf Cup. Bunch of good girls there. It was fun to interview them. They lost the game to Canon Japan 2-0, but they got a lot of shopping, a lot of sightseeing, a lot of uh, Disneyland stuff to do. They're probably going to go to the beach. They're going to forget all about it and head back home to Vancouver. So again, the final score, 2-0, 2007 Surf Cup. King is Oz here for George Lange Event Productions. Wishing you a good day. Be safe, and we'll see you again sometime soon. <laughs> Bye, Okay.